Hey, uh, this is gonna be real short. It's just something weird happened yesterday after that video that I said to learn from the, uh, should be studying and using the Strong's Concordance. Um, something weird happened yesterday and I'll just give you a little story because it, it's, it's, it's gonna point something out that, that'll probably, probably happen to you. Um, when you start following Christ uh, and studying his word, uh, Satan will send, you know, buffeters to try to take away your witness and make you look less credible and destroy you. Like he'll try to take away your discipline, like I said in the other video. It's, it's like that parable when you have a, a sower sowing seeds, right? And, and then the, the birds will come and eat up the seeds real quick. Well, that's like... Uh, Satan or, or whatever he sends to to take it away so it never takes root and grows and flourishes, right? Um, and he tries to discredit you in a big way. Um, so anyways, this, and I, this ain't directed towards anybody. It's just something that happened. And I didn't really see it clearly until this morning, which is weird too, you know. So... Uh, Anyways, I'll make this quick. Yesterday after I made that video, you know, um, <clears throat> we're going to a restaurant and I didn't, I, I've never been there, I don't know where it was, right? And uh, then I asked the people that were going with us, you know, family people and stuff, hey, you know, do you know where it is? I'll just follow you. And they didn't seem to be quite sh exactly sure how to get there. I mean, they knew, they knew the road to take, but they didn't know exactly the turns and stuff, right? So I said, you know what, I'll just punch it in my phone, I'll follow my phone, so you, f you follow me, follow me, because I'll punch it right in my phone. <laughs> well, well, when I left my house, it took me like an opposite direction that I'm sure everybody thought that I should have went. But I'm just following my phone, it took me right to it. I mean, it was the same road, that they said to take, but I turned the opposite way. And it actually took me to a shorter, shorter shortcut to get to that main road to go. But see, they were following me. And when I turned, it took us to a dirt road and it had been raining so much. It's muddy, a road full of potholes. It was narrow, it was narrow and it was a rough road to go down. And, uh, and they didn't want to go down it, and they turned around and went back to uh, another road that was paved. And I don't blame them, I, I get it. Um, it's not a big deal. But I went down that hard, narrow, rough road anyways. I, I have a Jeep and it's kind of dinged up and beat up a little bit. So I didn't, you know, I'm like, ah, I'm, I'm doing it anyways, you know. Whatever, it's not gonna screw up my car. You know, Jeeps, Jeeps get dirty. They're supposed to be dirty, right? Muddy, rough. Durable. So I went down it and we got actually to the restaurant, you know, a good 15 minutes or so before they got there. So me and my wife are sitting there ready, ready to eat before they came, showed up. But anyways, um, <laughs> when we went down that road and, and my wife kind of seen them turn around, um, we kind of, we kind of, gotten a little, just a little disagreement about things, you know, kind of angry. There was just like a, a, a bad spirit that like came over us a little bit. We got into a little argument and I kind of lost my discipline as a Christian, right? I kind of lost my discipline just a little bit, you know, a little bit. And it, and it upset my wife, you know, and my wife, you know, I've been blessed with a beautiful, amazing woman with a great, great heart. She's really a blessing but so anyways <laughs> the the point the point of the story is this i went down a narrow rough dirty hard road and the other people i know they were a little irritated because they have a nice vehicle and it's white you know <laughs> and this road was just full of mud and potholes and everything so they turned around and took a different route and they got to the same place, 
you know, they didn't follow me, but they knew, they knew which way to go, but they got there later than us, which wasn't a big deal. I mean, it's all, you know, it didn't seem like a big deal. But after I slept on it a little bit, you know, I seen how it related to this parable. And, uh, uh, you know, it's like Satan came and took, took my witness away a little bit because cause I got, you know, a little, me and my wife kind of, you know, gotten a little, little disagreement about certain things. Well, maybe not disagreements, the right word, but just kind of argued a little, I don't know, it just seemed like a, a, a bad spirit, like, came over us a little bit. It was a rough road to travel, and it was narrow. And my point of the story being, if you start following Christ, I mean, truly following Christ, and, and it's going to be a rough, narrow path, and few there be that find it. Um, like I said, these other people, they took another way, and they got there later. And I think that totally relates with, with the rapture and what's about to happen. Uh, there's, like I said, there's a first, I firmly believe there's a first fruit offering, a first wave offering, right, that gets taken. And, and like I said, that don't mean all these other people aren't going to be saved or anything, but they took a different route. They turned around, they didn't want to go down that rough, narrow road. They turned around and they went a longer route. So a lot of people who believe they are Christians, and they very well may be, but they have that little bit of oil, like the parable of the ten virgins. Some had a lot of oil, and they were prepared, waiting, watching, ready. They're they're on fire for the Christ, right for Christ, and watching and waiting. And he took them in. The bridegroom came and took them in. And then when the other ones came to get in, because they had to go get more oil, they had to get more knowledge, and learn more about Christ. When you go through the tribulation period, you're going to see things. I believe that uh, I think a light bulb is going to turn on in a lot of people's head and they're going to realize, oh my God, it's the truth. What these people have been saying is the truth. This is really happening. You know, it doesn't mean they won't get to heaven, but it, it means they may be delayed a bit, you know, and have to go through an even harder road to be purified more. And like I said, you don't want to be left here. So anyways, that's, 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 Kind of what happened it took me overnight you know not that i was dwelling on it or thinking about it real hard or anything but i see how, how satan like comes in and he disrupts you know and, and and you're going down a rough road so be prepared christian if uh if you're following christ and uh start actually putting these thing videos out or something that goes to the whole world you will be attacked you're going to be attacked and uh most likely it'll be people close to you too you know so it's a it's a rough road to travel be prepared for that be prepared for that because uh it will happen no doubt about it that will happen and you know i still love everybody to you know i mean it's, it didn't you know change the way i felt about it i guess i, I love everybody still you know um it's all good, but they might, a bunch of Christians that don't really take the word of God seriously and get in it and they're not on fire for it. I mean, you don't want to be lukewarm. He said he spews them out of his mouth. And the five unwise virgins, he said, I don't know you. I don't have that personal relationship. See, and, and like I said, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God and the word was God. And then the word was made flesh, which is Jesus Christ. God came in the flesh, the word, and the word is his Bible. It's his word, but, but to know it, you really have to get into it so you get that personal relationship. You become born again spiritually. You invite God's Holy Spirit. You invite Jesus Christ into your heart and you become a new creation. You know, But like I said, Satan will come and try to buffet that and buffet your witness, make you lose your discipline. He'll make you go through even harder things, you know. Pop quite possibly more more likely he will. So I just want to throw that out there, quick, you know, uh, just to let you know. I mean, these things will happen in your life, and only the Holy Spirit really can open your eyes and let you see what actually transpired. You know, you know, and it's learning. It's a learning process. You know, 
And some people take a little longer to learn from it. Some people get it, you know. Um, but everything in your life, every, everything you do is uh, spiritual. Everything has a spiritual meaning and the Holy Spirit is the only one that can open your eyes to, to see it and understand it and get it. So expect to be attacked. I'm just saying that from the beginning, it's a rough road to travel. And I went down that narrow, rough, nasty road. <laughs> you know, hey, that's the way it is. Just, just a heads up. Love you all. God bless. Have a good day.